guys it's the anime titan here back at it again with another what if this one being what if naruto had all the tail beasts part three so last time we left off we were about to get into the bell test and basically naruto has had uh, extensive training from hiruzen sasuke extensive training with itachi and both um shisui as well, not, not Itachi and Shisui, Itachi and Fugaku, seeing as there is no more Danzo, Danzo to order Itachi around, as well as Sakura just being Sakura, book smart Sakura. So, anyway, let's jump into it. The Belters would basically start with Kakashi telling them that they all, the life of a ninja is a hard one, yada yada yada, they have to get the bells, as Sakura would point out that there is only two. Kakashi would then state that, yeah, only two of you will be passing. This would shock Sakura, but not Naruto and Sasuke, seeing as they both knew they were strong enough and that they would pass. Eventually, K um, Kakashi would tell them to start as Naruto would immediately just disappear, bl uh, just going into the bushes, hiding. Sakura and Sasuke would do the same, and Sakura would actually just end up Sticking near Sasuke most of the time. Naruto would have been eh, a little iffy on Sakura, seeing that she couldn't do much and was always just a fangirl. But he'd accept her for the time being. He'd have to work harder to train her up later anyways. So Naruto would then um proceed to sit down and think for a bit. Wondering what the real meaning of the test was. His grandfather had always told him that a ninja never completely truly reveals their plan outright well a proper ninja at least so naruto knew that there would be some back alley well just some dark part of the thing that kakashi is not telling them as he'd pay attention and this is when sasuke would actually burst out of the bushes charging straight at kakashi with sakura throwing shuriken to cover sasuke sasuke had a plan he tells he would have told Sakura that if he could have gotten the bell, that he'd toss one of them to her. Sakura would have actually really thought that Sasuke cared about her, but meanwhile this was just a ploy to get Naruto out of his way. But anyway, so Sasuke would be rushing in at Kakashi with Sakura showing um throwing Shuriken to cover him. Kakashi would have whooped out a uh, kunai and started deflecting the Shuriken as well as some of the kunai with relative ease without even putting his book down yet. This is when out of nowhere Sasuke would appear right in front of Kakashi getting ready to hit him. When Kakashi would kick away Sasuke and deflect the remain uh, the oncoming shuriken, Sakura would have then jumped out of the bush and headed towards Sasuke where not, well yeah towards Sasuke who was just now lying in the middle of the battlefield. Naruto would have been in the bushes just watching carefully as he'd decide that he needs to do something. So he'd rush out and make a shadow clone. Basically, the shadow clone would charge to at Kakashi as Naruto would charge at Sasuke and uh, Sakura. When he'd reach them, he'd grab both of them under his arm and then just continue running into the bushes. Sakura would have been yelling for him to let him go as Sasuke would just try to pry Naruto's hand off. But it wouldn't work. Naruto would have gotten into the bushes just as Kakashi would have popped the shadow clone and would have told them, shut up and listen. The seriousness in, the, in his tone would have stopped both of them from trying to escape as Naruto would then say, he's a jonin for crying out loud, you think you could beat him alone? We all need to work together if you even want to remotely stand a chance. This is when Sasuke would scoff a little bit and ask, what do you have in mind? As Naruto would say, I don't really care for the bells. I'll go back to the academy if I have to. That just means I get a longer period training my little brother. 
as he would have told them that he will be the distraction and he has he and Sasuke will be the distraction and that Sakura has to get the bells. Sasuke would have been hesitant but Naruto would have said the two misfires <sighs> Sorry guys. I like the house is extremely quiet and that's making me sleepy. But anyway, um Naruto would explain that the two best fighters would have made the best distraction. Uh, Sasuke would have actually taken this compliment, saying that, fine, he'll work with Naruto for now. So, Naruto and Sasuke would then split and split into two different directions, as they then eventually just burst out of the bushes on either side of Kakashi, charging at him directly. Sasuke would have flared his three Tomoe Sharingan to, li to life and would have charged directly at Kakashi with a kunai in hand. Naruto doing the same, only instead of him having a Sharingan, he just had nothing, just a plain kunai. Oh. But the kunai would have been enhanced with Wind Chakra. I'm really sorry for yawning this much, guys. So, anyway, Naruto would charge at Kakashi with a Wind and enhanced um shuriken as him and sasuke would proceed to try to beat down on kakashi kakashi would have been avoiding them for um not with ease but he would have been struggling a bit avoiding these two and out of nowhere a shadow clone of naruto would stab into kakashi's back popping it uh poofing the shadow clone immediately kakashi would have gotten the memories and would have decided that he actually should go in now as he then would have burst in to the fight where uh, Sasuke and Naruto were as he'd still proceed to use the headhunter jutsu on Sasuke but this is when out of nowhere Naruto would use an earth style jutsu shooting um, Sasuke right back out of the ground Kakashi would have been completely and utterly shocked that Naruto would be able to pull off a jutsu um, at such a young age but then he'd remember that he has been raised by th uh, the third Hokage so we wouldn't be like he wouldn't expect it much less as this is when naruto would proceed to um just flash through some more hand signs as he'd say fire style fireball jutsu sasuke would have been a bit annoyed but he would have done the exact same launching a fireball of his own naruto's just being a slight bluish color a blue a light blue tint or a yellow a orange and blue tint Blasting at Kakashi, which Sasuke would have noticed. But anyway, Naruto would have then um, doubled back, and Kakashi would have used the Earth style mud wall to be a, uh, to block these two. This is when out of nowhere Sakura would come up from behind and yank the two bells. Kakashi would immediately grab her, but this is when Naruto would also just come in from the side and kick Kakashi on his blind side, meaning his left side where the Sharingan was covered. Kakashi wouldn't have expected that and would have just been kicked. He would be sent skidding, but Sakura would still have the bells. This is when Naruto would say, I guess we're done here. As Sakura would toss one of the bells to Sasuke, Naruto would put his hands in his pocket and be walking away when Kakashi would yell out, Wait. As Naruto would look back lazily, just wondering what the hell his sins, well, his should have been since they wanted. As Kakashi say, You all pass. And that's what have shocked Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto. But Naruto wouldn't really care. He just wanted to go back home to make sure his little brother was fine. As Kakashi would then go on to explain to them that this entire exercise was about teamwork. As well as the fact that if you, were, oh, if you abandon your comrades, well, if you abandon the mission, you're scum. But if you abandon your comrades, you're even worse than scum. Naruto would have eh, taken this to heart as he would have really tried his best to look after Sasuke and Sakura from now on. As the two Sasuke and Sakura would be heading off Naruto in his own direction. As Naruto here, yeah, he would have decided that he won't go home just yet. As he would head out to a forest, which Kakashi would notice that he wasn't heading home at all. As Kakashi would follow him. As this is when he'd, um, well, he'd follow Naruto to a clearing in the forest. As Naruto would then just weave through, uh, through some hand signs saying, Wind style, wind shuriken. 
as a wind shuriken would form and launch straight at the tree in front of Naruto, leaving a large gash in the tree. As Naruto would then say, Sand style, Sand shuriken, as the Sand shuriken would form and again just launch at the tree, leaving a bit of a bigger gash this time. Kakashi would have been surprised that Naruto didn't use any of the, uh, uh, this type of jutsu in the um, bell test, as this is when Naruto would yell out, Lightning style. Lightning, a whole lightning cutter, as lightning would just lightly dance around his hand, as he would then proceed to, well, yeah, he then stab it at the tree, impaling it, just leaving a, uh, basically a hole in the tree the size of his hand. Kakashi would have been shocked and wondered what the hell, where Naruto got all these jutsus, as Naruto would then realize that he's being watched. He'd quickly then form, um... A f- uh, well, a uh, sand shuriken and throw towards Kakashi. Kakashi would have dodged the sand shuriken, but wouldn't have realized that Naruto still has control of the sand even after launched. So Naruto would quickly bring the shuriken back and have it point directly. Well, the point be directly behind Kakashi's neck, as Naruto would say, "Oh, Kakashi Sensei," as the sand would, the sand shuriken would go from. From behind Kakashi, back to Naruto and into the gourd once more. As Naruto would have this, well, started walking off again, Kakashi would have caught up and asked him what the hell all that was. As Naruto would say, "You'll figure out a little later." As Naruto would just continue walking home, leaving Kakashi to wonder, as he would have decided to go to Hiruzen's office, as he told them that Team Seven passed and he has a few questions about Naruto. As Hiruzen would have asked what questions, as Kakashi would ask why he has sand style and techniques like that, as Hiruzen would have um, straightened up a bit at this and he would have told his Ambu to um, go off for a bit as he'd activate a privacy seal. He'd then explain to Kakashi that due to some experiments done by Danzo, Naruto has all nine tailed beasts sealed within him. As Kakashi's eyes would widen, saying that that's impossible. The fourth seal, the nine tails inside Sasuke, he's harnessing the power. I've seen him. As Hiruzen would then say, yes, but Danzo had harnessed Chakra and turned them into Biju. Actual Biju. And now all nine of them are living within Naruto. As Kakashi would just be dumbstruck at the saying that Naruto has all nine beasts. How is he keeping them in check? As Hiruzen would tell Kakashi that he isn't, but instead he's working with them. He's not fighting them, and they're not fighting him. They're like friends, almost a tiny family, if you could say so. Kakashi would have thought back at Kushina yelling out so many times that the nine tails is a pain. But the nine tells what's such a pain to uphold and um hold within him. Kakashi would have basically just sweat dropped wondering if only Kushina could see her son now, not just controlling the nine tells but actually befriending it, the nine tells working alongside him. As um Kakashi would have then gone off. Naruto would have returned home by now and asked his mom if she was doing okay. As his mom would say, she's doing just fine, and ask him how his day was. Naruto would reply with, eh, it's okay, I guess. As Konor Homer would come running from uh, upstairs, as he'd say, but brother, are you ready? As Naruto would say, yeah, let's go train. As Naruto would just proceed to teach Konor Homer more basic taijutsu, which Konor would have put Konor Homer leagues above the rest of any of his any of the kids in his age group as this would actually be a normal thing for Naruto and Konohamaru like I said in the last part as Naruto would then proceed to tell Konohamaru he's gonna have to do his own training from now on Konohamaru would be a little sad but he'd understand that Naruto now has missions to do he has his own ninja life to live as Konohamaru would say I promise to get stronger every day big brother as Naruto would smile and ruffle Konohamaru's head, as he'd say, let's head back. As Naruto and Konohamaru would then just go back home. 
as dinner would have been ready and Naruto and Konohamaru would quickly go wash their hands as then come down back down to eat. After they'd finished, Naruto would have taken a shower and then gone to bed. Same with Konohamaru. The next day would roll around and Kakashi, um, well Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura would have made Kakashi to get their missions ready. As they would have actually just done the D-ranks for, just like in canon, for a month. As Naruto and Sasuke would get extremely fed up with this. Well, just Sasuke, as he'd one day just barge in, demanding a better mission. As Naruto would have just looked at Sasuke just all stupidly, but would have said, I agree, I would also like a harder mission. Hiruzen would have chuckled a little, a little bit at the antics and would look at Kakashi and ask him if he thinks they're ready. He'd know by now that Naruto definitely is ready, but he needs to know about the other two. As Kakashi would look at Naruto and Sasuke and nod, as Hiruzen would have noticed that he didn't look at Sakura at all. As he would then just proceed to give him the C rank mission, the wave mission, as in canon. And this is when um, Tazna would walk in. He would be just drunk as usual, extremely drunk, and Naruto would have smelled the seeing as he was the closest one to the door and the closest to Tazna at this time. As Tazna would make fun of Sakura, then Sasuke, but as soon as he would have looked towards Naruto to make fun of him, Naruto's eyes would have shifted to a dark blue with a slit in it, a vertical slit, as Tazuna would have backed off instantaneously, with Naruto just giving him a, a little bit of a smile. This would have enraged Sasuke, well not enraged him, but ticked him off seeing as the old man would day insult him, an Uchiha, and then leave this brat, the, uh, brat next to him unscathed, as uh, Naruto would just be like, eh, not my fault. So, Kakashi would have told them to get their stuff ready because they're leaving in just a bit. As Naruto, he would have actually left, well, gone back home. As he'd pack basically two more pouches for his, um, two more pouches containing kunai, shuriken, um, ninja wire, explosives, explosive tags and smoke bombs. Yeah, basically two more of those, some spare clothes, as well as, if necessary, a bunch of scrolls that he'd been, well, well, not if necessary, but a bunch of scrolls that he'd be trying to read up on. The one thing he hadn't learned from his old man, well, his grandpa, being sealing jutsu. He'd be wanting to learn more about that, and he'd gotten basically a basic storage seal down, which means he could seal one thing inside a piece of um, paper that he had by now. And he would have just gone off. And waited for them at the gate. But Naruto, he would have waited there and soon Kakashi and Tazna would arrive. Well, they were actually the first to arrive. As then it would be Naruto, Sasuke and then Sakura. All three of them would have set off as within about two hours of just walking. Well, not walk. Yeah, they had to walk. Naruto would have to take a break. Uh, well, not Naruto, but Sakura would have to take a break. She would have been extremely tired, seeing as she wasn't really used to such efforts. As Naruto would then offer to carry Sakura on his back. As Sakura would actually just agree with this. Naruto would have taken off his backpack and made a shadow clone that would be carrying his backpack as he'd be carrying Sakura. Sakura wouldn't really care um, that Naruto would be carrying her, or nor would she hate on him as much, seeing as he was the grandson of the third. She actually didn't mind him being on her team, and he didn't ask her out as much. He didn't ask her out at all. Naruto would have just continued um, through and through, carrying her for a, a further four hours, as that's when they would arrive and they'd see the um the puddle. Naruto would have noticed it as well as Sasuke, but Sakura would have been completely oblivious to this. As soon as Kakashi neared the puddle, the demon brothers would have jumped out, and Kakashi would have still faked his death like in canon. But immediately after that, the gourd that Naruto was carrying on his side would burst out with sand, capturing both demon brothers. Sasuke and Sakura would have been wondering, what the hell is this? As the sand would just hold the demon brothers in place. As Naruto would say, 
tell us why well not say but then kakashi would come out as kakashi would interrogate the two demon brothers getting well them not wanting to tell kakashi anything as naruto would tighten the grub on the sand likely crushing their bones well not crushing but fracturing their bones at this point as they'd still not say anything but this is where naruto would proceed to crush their hands and feet as they scream out in pain and then tell kakashi that they're off to the bridge builder they were hired by somebody named gato as kakashi would have looked at tazuna and tazuna would have then gone through to explain exactly as everything that he did in canon kakashi would have looked at naruto sasuke and sakura and asked them if they're still willing to continue naruto would have retracted his sand and um would have said yeah he's down as they would have just basically continued with sasuke and sakura also agreeing so they would have continued on and eventually they would near the docks or cross the dock as a mist would be rolling in naruto would be extremely careful of this as he had seen a white rabbit earlier which definitely shouldn't have been here as this is when out of nowhere wham a massive sword would be flying at them with naruto quickly putting up sand to block the sword from cutting any of them down seeing as it was swung much faster in this one as it would hit the sand barrier and then just flop to the ground sabuza would have landed in a tree near them saying oh so one of you stopped my sword as kakashi would then turn around and see sabuza sabuza would smirk saying kakashi the copycat ninja as kakashi would say sabuza momochi the demon of the mist as the two would proceed to have a battle exactly like in canon with kakashi still slipping up but here naruto would have flashed through some hand signs hand signs saying water style water dragon jutsu as a massive water dragon would shoot from behind naruto straight at sabuza with that shocking both kakashi sasuke well shocking both kakashi and um sabuza as sabuza would have quickly had to double back making sure not to get hit by that freeing kakashi within about half a minute of actually capturing him as this is when sabuza would have said oh you got some guts kid i see you got a few tricks too as he'd flash through some hand signs also yelling out water style what a dragon as the dragon would quickly um charge towards naruto's dragon as the two dragons would have made contact naruto's dragon actually destroying sabuza's he's being much stronger cuz well um you know tail beast and haunts anyways so yeah naruto would have been just fine his dragon would have still roared at um sabuza as this is when sabuza would have grabbed onto the executioner's blade no not i'm sorry dodging he would have dodged the dra- water dragon and grabbed onto the executioner's blade cutting the water dragon in half as Naruto would have smiled seeing that Sabuza was able to dodge his dragon and make it all the way over to his blade in time and then cutting off the water dragon as he would have smirked saying that Sabuza is actually quite strong this is when Kakashi would have taken over and Sabuza and Kakashi's battle would have gone exactly like canon and then with Haku eventually just throwing the senbon into Sabuza's neck again Kakashi here would have revealed the Sharingan but he wouldn't have collapsed due to chakra exhaustion. So, yeah, they would carry they would they would proceed to sorry. Kakashi would proceed to ask Tazuna if he had a place for them to stay and Tazuna would have then said, "Yeah, he does." As they would all proceed to go back to Tazuna's house. As Inari would he would still throw his temper tantrum and Naruto would actually console Inari as he would proceed to speak with Inari and tell him that he ex- understands exactly what is going through. He had actually lost his father just a little while ago. Well, not a little while ago, quite a while ago. As Inari would sympathize with Naruto saying, "So you understand how it feels?" As Naruto would nod his head saying, "Yeah, I do." So basically um yeah the the next day Kakashi would uh, come around and he would train Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto. But Naruto would explain to him that yeah he already kind of knew chakra control exercises this being walking on trees on water 
and a lot of stuff like that. As Kakashi would have been shocked. But Naruto would say, yeah, kind of good at it, you know. As he would go off and do his own training. But And Sasuke would have learned the tree walking quite a bit faster because he has a Sharingan, which means his chakra control is much better. As he'd also go off doing his own training. Sakura would have gotten it down under a few tries as Kakashi would proceed to teach Sakura more stuff, like Genjutsu and Taijutsu. Which means Sakura would be improving by not a lot, but a decent amount. So, anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, Naruto would be training in the, um, forest when he'd just be launching off not massive attacks, but hi- not high, how do I put this? Attacks that would be damaging, but he's lowering the output so that it wouldn't be lethal. Just damaging. As he'd do this for quite a while and exert quite a bit of chakra. As he'd make a bunch of clones and tell them to go to ceiling for the rest of the day. As he'd proceed just to lay there by under a tree. And he'd pass out. And he, well, he'd pass out. As he'd later then wake up to a face, well, a girl standing right above him. This girl actually being Haku. And yes, Haku will be a female. I can't sweat that enough because... I'm sorry, but that was my first. Haku was a dude, and I crushed on a dude, not knowing it was a dude, but like, you know, you know how it is. Haku confused the crap out of me, but anyway, Haku's a female in this one. So anyway, um, yeah, Naruto would have spoken to Haku, and she, in this timeline would actually be really considerate and tell Naruto that he would get a lot stronger if he fights for somebody to protect. As Naruto would say, I already know that. I don't fight for myself. I fight to protect my mother and my little brother, as well as my grandpa. As Haku would have smiled, seeing that there's somebody else that shares the exact same perspective as she does. But anyway, this is also when Haku would have decided that she would go off. As she would have gone off actually telling Naruto that eh, her time is up. She just came to collect some herbs. So Naruto would wave Haku off as he would have gotten her name. And basically everything would go to canon from there on. With them, with Naruto waking up late on the day of the um, attack. As the two guys would still bust um, in trying to attack Anari and his mother. With Naruto quickly just beating them down not even not killing them but beating them down with raw brute strength as he would have quickly made his way through to um the bridge where he would have found sasuke struggling against haku the ice user he would have jumped in and haku would have um been really pressured now as haku would have made the demonic ice mirrors trapping both naruto and sasuke naruto would have been hesitant but he would have done his best to protect him and Sasuke Sasuke would have had a much easier time here blocking the needles as he would have had his three Tomoe Sharingan and Naruto he would have just used um, low level wind jutsus to knock the sand bone off course Haku would see this and would have gotten a little frustrated as he'd up as she'd up her speed and attack power by quite a bit moving around a lot faster and throwing the sand bone quite a bit harder <coughs> as in this Naruto wasn't able to t- well as Naruto would have been deflecting a bunch of the sand bone that was coming in from in front of him he wouldn't have seen those that were coming from behind and he wouldn't be able to ref- uh, um he wouldn't be able to react fast enough oh sorry it took me a while to get to that word he wouldn't be able to f- react fast enough as Sasuke would push him in out of the way, taking the full front of the sin bone. But he'd slowly leak small amounts of QB chakra, which Naruto would have recognized as the sin bone would just pop out and Sasuke's wounds would heal. Naruto would then see that Sasuke is in a one tails cloak and retaining his Sharingan, which meant he had control. So Naruto, he did the same, releasing a cloak of his own, 
which confused the hell out of Sasuke, as Naruto would then blow through some hand signs, yelling, Fire style! Great fireball jutsu! As a blue fireball would shoot from Naruto, dis completely destroying the mirrors in front of him and melting some of the others. Haku would have been not in the mirror with what that the fireball hit, but near it as Haku would be flung back with her mask broken. Naruto would have quickly blitzed over to Haku and asked if she was okay, as Haku would reply with, she's doing just fine. This is when both Naruto and Haku would hear the sound of a thousand birds just screeching to life, as Naruto would basically look over and see Kakashi with the Chidori, but before Kakashi could do anything, Naruto would have clutched onto both Sasuke, um, Kakashi and Zabuza with his sand, telling them both to stop. Right now, they're not enemies. As Kakashi and Zabuza would have looked at Naruto asking, What the hell do you mean, Brad? As Ka Naruto would point out that there's a man heading this way with a small army. As they would have just spread out their senses ever so slightly and would have picked it up. Kakashi would have let the Chidori drop and Zabuza, he would have let them live for now, so to say. But basically, Zabuza would then look at Naruto and say, why are you doing this, kid? As Naruto would look over at Haku, saying that she's a friend. He doesn't want to see a friend suffer. As Zabuza would realize that Naruto cares for Haku, even though they only had met once. As Zabuza would say, Alright, kid. I see. As Zabuza would then, Zabuza and Kakashi, as well as Naruto and Sasuke, still in their cloaks, would proceed to quickly rush off and slaughter the small army that Gato had. And Nar as Zabuza would be about to cut, uh, kill uh, ah, to kill Gato, but Naruto would quickly grab onto the executioner's blade, still being in a chakra cloak, mind you, which means no damage to Naruto. He would catch the blade as he'd tell him, no, leave him be. As Gato would be happy seeing that this child just made one of the stupidest mistakes of his life, as Naruto would say, we'll let the villagers handle him. As Gato's sweat would have dropped, as he would have just been, uh, like, just, just a little scared. As they would have tied him up and Tazna would have just waited there alongside Gato. Well, the tied up Gato for the rest of the villagers with Sabuza and Haku showing them where the hideout was. They would have robbed the place and Sabuza and Haku would have gotten their pay, but here Haku wouldn't want to leave Naruto. She cared for Naruto, she was thankful towards Naruto for saving Sabuza, so she wouldn't just leave without repaying the favor. As Sabuza would have noticed this and told Haku that eh, he doesn't need her anyway, she can stay with that boy if she wants to. Would have, which would have made Haku extremely happy. Seeing that she had a friend that and Zabuza and that she had repaid her debt to Zabuza. As Zabuza would say, Yeah, don't worry about it. Go and live your life, kid. As Zabuza would then just blitz off, taking the money that Gato would have paid them. As Naruto and them would give the money back to the town after snatching a few thousand Ryu, give or take, as they would have just gone back to the village, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's what I'm going to be ending this, guys, sorry, Anime Titan, peace.